everybody. Hey, good afternoon to you. What a lovely bright Thursday it is. Um, yeah, if I'll just wait a minute to see who's jumping on live. If you're here live, just pop a hey in the comments there. And if you're catching up on replay, just do a hashtag replay later. Hi Lorraine, great to see you here. Um, anybody else, if you pop a hey in the comments there, say hi. It's all very exciting at the moment. We've got um, my daughter's 21st birthday tomorrow, so hey. Um, so it's all full on at the moment. We've got a few days of um, celebrations going on. So yes, lots of preparations taking place over the, uh, you know, for the next couple of hours as we get into tomorrow. So, um, so yeah, today I'm going to give you some tips to get rid of that I'm not good enough little mind monkey that um, comes in. So, um, you know, I'm a coach and I help women be the best possible version of themselves. And so many times I hear, you know, that one of the biggest limitations that they have for them not being able to live their best life is that little voice inside their head saying, you know, I'm not good enough. Hi Brooke, oh lovely to see you here. Um, you know, that one that says, I can't do it. You know, who do I think I am? You know, just pop a note in the comments there. If you've ever had that kind of little voice in your in your head telling you that you're not good enough, that you can't do something, you know, who, you th who do you think you are? Just pop a note in there if you have that come up. You know, because it's so, so easy and it happens to all of us, you know, absolutely happens to all of us. Um, and I know for me, I know that I've been in situations that it's happened, particularly in the corporate world, where, you know, you're, you know, surrounded by other, other people that may be doing some things that, you know, force you to actually question yourself whether you can do that. Um, and that, and these thoughts, you know, they can really hold you back and um, stop you from getting whatever you wanted. So easy to be dragged down by these thoughts and of, of that, you know, or, and that feeling that it actually gives you. You know, maybe that, you know, you feel that you're not good enough to go for that job or the promotion that you want or, you know, whatever it is. You know, it's, or, it, you know, it, it happens to all of us. And I think all of us can say that we've been in that situation at one point in our lives. And you can just really let those feelings create that, you know, affect your self-confidence, your self-worth and your self-belief most of all. And it can actually become like a self-fulfilling prophecy because the more and more that you actually feel like that, um, the more and more that, you know, it, it kind of creates, it creates that and you begin to behave in the way that you believe others expect you to. It's, you know, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I've got some tips for you today um, that are going to help you whenever those little mind monkeys start to actually interfere with you and start bringing you down. So the first one almost seems quite obvious really, but the first one is to watch the language that you're using with yourself. You know, are you actually saying things to yourself like, you know, who do you think you are? You know, you'll never do that. You can't do that. Only... Only they can do that. Somebody else can do that, but you can't. You're not smart enough, you know. You need to work harder, whatever it might be. But are you constantly saying these things to yourself? Are you berating yourself and using negative language with yourself? Because, you know, you wouldn't talk to other people like that. So why do you do it to yourself? Why do we allow ourselves to kind of say these these things to ourselves in our head. And the more and more you do that, you see, the more and more you think it, again, it kind of just keeps on presenting that to yourself. So um, if you don't think that you're enough, if you're actually having those thoughts that you're not enough, then you will actually, you know, stop those opportunities coming to you because you will still be thinking that you're not worthy of, of whatever's out, that's out there. And you will start ignoring the opportunities that are right in front of you to do that. So when you hear these sort of negative judgments in your head, then just catch yourself. 
you know, catch yourself, you know, think, you know, that you're doing it and then change it to a more supportive a more positive voice instead for you. You can ask yourself better questions. Hi, Claire. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you here. Um, so ask yourself some better questions. You know, how can I make this happen? How can I step up to be my best self? So you're empowering yourself instead of putting yourself down. You can also start choosing self-empowering language. So again, when you're catching yourself saying, oh, I should do that, I ought to do that, I have to do that, or I need to, you know, do, be, or feel something, then again, you're holding yourself back. Just take those words out of your, you know, your sentences. Just take, just take them right out. And see, you know, because you can still have those, you know, the, the sentences without those additional words in there that all they're doing is bringing you down. And again, the more and more you bring yourself down, the more and more you'll start feeling not good enough and not feeling worthy. And again, it's a, a kind of a self-fulfilling cycle that you go through there. So choose to do what you want to do rather than all of these other, you know, words that you're adding in there. It's so much more empowering for you. The next one is stop over identifying with circumstances or situations or whatever. You know, you are more than, you're not, you're not a label, you're more than your, you know, mistakes that you've made or your income or how you look or your body type, whatever it is, you're more than that. So if you failed a test, and I say failed in inverted commas there because, you know, the, I, I don't believe there is failure, there is only learnings to get from something. But if you failed a test, you didn't pass that test that time, or if you're having a hard, hard job, um, hard time finding a job, that doesn't mean that you're anything. You're not a loser, you're not a failure or whatever. So just don't let those self-perceived roadblocks actually weigh your you, you weigh your down weigh you know weigh you down and 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 getting more of those self worth um, feelings. The next one, find the exception so that it can open up your mind again. I think sometimes when you are feeling really down and you are in that. Um, place where you know you can't see the wood through the tea, trees you know you've got your head is so full of these of these thoughts of, that you've got of you know how you're not good enough and it can be really difficult it can be really challenging to change your headspace to a more positive one again so ask yourself here what's one exception to this and start small you know what's one exception to that though so, because this again, this is opening your mind to finding the positive things that are actually in your life that you have done or you are currently doing. Even if it is going back to school days and remembering that, you know, an exception to you not being good enough. Well, actually at school I was really good at in that English class. So even if it is a small thing going back to, you know, going back years to school days, just think of one exception to how you're feeling right now with that feeling of not feeling good enough. And kind of following on to, from that one, make a list of all your strengths, your skills, your qualifications, you know, those times that you were confident, etc. And just take a moment to sort of soak in all of those lovely positive memories of that. You know, by making a note of all your skills and your qualifications and all your strengths, you can build a massive resource bank. A resource bank that actually, when again, when you're feeling some down or, or whatever, you know, you can just have a little reminder of everything that you can do well. And, and you know, again, if you keep on saying those things to yourself and reminding yourself of those things, you can get rid of these feelings of not feeling good enough. You know, really know your strengths and your positive qualities. It's so easily, when we're in this mud bath of all of these negative feelings, to remember, you know, how good we are actually at things. You know, so make a note of your strengths and your positive um, qualities. And then I want you to simply think back. 
Think back to those times and situations when you were good enough, when you did feel good enough. Because this might just be a temporary thing that you're going through right now. Maybe you're full of overwhelm or you're in the middle of something right now that is making you doubt your abilities. So think back to those times where you really did feel good enough. Or even at times where that you didn't feel quite good enough, but actually you still carried on and took the action and things turned out much better than you actually accept, expected them to be. So write a few of those memories down for you. And then again, when you feel those feelings of uncertainty or your confidence drops in any situation, you can pull out that note, can't you? And, and just remind yourself, just soak in all those glorious memories of when you were um, feeling great and it can change your outlook, uh, outlook in an absolute moment. The next one, and I think we're all really guilty of this, is stop getting yourself stuck in that comparison trap. You know, when you're comparing yourself to others, to what they have or what they've done, and then you get, you, you get yourself stuck in comparing to them. And it's just a dead end. I'm telling you now, it's a dead end going down that, way, that route. And it can actually be really quite destructive for you and feed these feelings of not feeling good enough for you. And because of this kind of habitual comparing, it's a game you can't win. You really can't win that. There will always be, there will always be someone that's better than you or has more than you or has achieved more than you. But it doesn't mean that you are any less than what you are. So... You know, just forget that one. A much better alternative to this is to compare yourself with yourself. You know, see how far you've come and what you've overcome. Remind yourself of the wins, no matter how small they are. Um, you know, it can keep, keep your motivation and your self-confidence up by c uh, congratulating yourself on those small wins rather than all the big wins that you're actually aiming for. So, you know, one small step forward is still one step forward. And you need to make all of those little steps to get to the big goal. So no matter what the big goal is, sort of congratulate yourself on those small wins so review the last three months, the last six months, you know, the last one year, five years, and just remind yourself how far you've come within that time. And really then just make it a habit to keep doing that. And then just only occasionally just check on what other people are doing, but do that for fun, you know, and do it to so that you're not envious of them, that you're just happy for their success that they've got. And the last one is to practice self-care. So when you're feeling good, when you're feeling good about who you are, <clears throat> then you naturally start feeling more worthy. You naturally start taking better care of yourself. And, you know, this self-nurturing is really a key part of that. Really a key part of it. So take a good, close look now at how you are living. And are you taking in time to do the things that you love doing? Are you taking in time to, you know, to do the things that bring you joy in your life? And, you know, are you eating well and exercising and feeling healthy and energetic? All of these things, you know, are you sleeping enough? Because if it's not, it's time to make some serious life changes there. And finally, to end on today, I want you to say the statement out loud. I am enough. I have enough. I am worthy. And just keep saying that to yourself. Just reminding yourself of that. I am enough. I have enough. I am worthy. And if anyone would like any help in breaking this habit that they may have fallen into, they might, you know, if you might just need that little bit of a nudge, then please just message me. Message me for your free 45-minute personal breakthrough session today. And we can clear this up once and for all. I hope you've enjoyed that session today. I'm off now to pick my son up, who's coming back from university today. So we've got 
you know, fabulous weekend full of celebrations for my daughter's birthday. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.